What's going on my friends? I hope you're very well. I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Uh, but now I figure I'd show you this little operation that I'm going to do in this little Cedar bonsai that I've shown you several uh, several times before. And it's pretty basic actually. Uh, the other day I was reading on Instagram, I follow this bonsai professional. I think he's from England. And he says that uh, people say that the best time for repot when it comes to pretty much any any tree and any tree species is right before the start of spring when the tree becomes active again uh, and he was saying that when it comes to cedars in particular that is simply not the case the best time to do any sort of operation that has to do with the roots and root work and transplanting it's during autumn and so uh, over here where I live, we have very, very, very mild, almost non-existent winters. And so um, uh, from what I see on the tree, look at this, this is all new growth. Uh, I just see that the tree is very active. We're at the end of autumn. Uh, winter is about to start. Winter is about to start. But since it's very active and it's growing, I thought it'd be a nice idea to remove the water that it's, you know, on it. Because in some places we can see that the wire is definitely biting into, you know, the little bark. And that in the future is going to leave ugly scars, you know. And so what I'm going to do today, it's, you know, very simple, very straightforward. I'm going to use wire cutters and uh, remove it, you know. And so I thought it would be a nice little short video where I show you what it looks like today. Yeah. And uh, some of the details that... We can see in its development. So normally I wouldn't unwind the wire. I just cut it. But like I said, this is already biting into the bark. So it'd be kind of difficult, especially with these wire cutters that I have right here. Because as we can see here, the tips, you know, just broke away because I was trying to cut wire that was simply too thick for those wire cutters. And so, you know, I broke the tips. Anyway, so I carefully unwind another wire. And uh, here we can see that I'm using um, you know, I'm using not the typical aluminum wire or copper wire that is used for bonsai, but I'm using this very, very thick and sometimes not very malleable iron or steel in this case. You know, it's not stainless, of course. Uh, steel wire, you can use it, but you have to be even more careful, you know. So. Simply remove, we cut where we can cut, you know. yeah, it's just stripped of its constraints, you know, or restraints, right? So, um, I'm doing this is um, like I said because it's the tree is very active and it's growing, even though winter is about to start. And also, <clears throat> and so, if it doesn't have that that stress that comes from the wire being biting into the bark, it can grow, uh, you know, even faster and more vigorously. And so, <clears throat> that's the first reason. <clears throat> Sorry. And the second reason is, like I said, because, uh, you know, it's already biting into. So I want it to grow fast and I grant it to grow uh, vigorously and unchecked without restraints. And I also uh, want to avoid uh, this, the scars that we can see over here. Uh, we got one over there and we got another one over here. But since this is very young, this is going to, you know, fade away in the future. I'm going to 
get it close to the camera. Mm, let me see if I can focus there. So we can see that the little trunk is there. The general placing of the branches is there too. This is going to get wired in the future and it's going to, you know, come down a little bit. This is going to be a secondary branch and some of these are going to get removed so we can see the, you know, the little loop, the movement in the trunk. Uh, of course, this is going to be, you know, um, let's see, let me move the camera a little bit. This is going to be the top, top of the tree. So in the future, we're going to leave this to grow, you know, and grow and grow three, four feet tall. So we get that nice girth here at the base of the trunk. Anyway, so this is one species in particular, but I'm going to show you another little guy that I have over here. This is quite curious, you know. Um, let me see what I can do. Because the camera, maybe if I put it over here. Yeah, there we go. So this is a pine, one of those pines that I received from another state that I bought online. And we can see that the wiring has been very, very, you know, dramatic. You can see the turns and the loops and whatnot. And uh, this is because it uh, it was a sapling that was very, very long, but that, you know, the green was very far away from the base of the tree, you know. And so what I did is I wired it and I compacted it. And now I've got this, you know, looks nice, looks interesting. And um, this one, um, as opposed to that one, is not growing as well, or is not growing as fast as this one. So the wire stays on, the wire stays on. And next season, when I get that nice vigorous growth that is going to have uh, from these tips, you know, we can see the little candles there, then we remove the wire. You know, I use the same wire, uh, but another thing that we can see from this little guy is that it's it's still not biting into. Mm, let me just focus there. It's still not biting into the little trunk, and so if we want to keep this dramatic movement, if we want to keep all this movement in the trunk, uh, it'd be an, it'd be a good idea to just leave it on for a couple more months. And then when it's slightly biting into the little trunk, then we remove the wire, you know, and that's going to set, set the, the shape of the tree. Another thing that we can see from this tree, this is going to get repotted. This is going to get repotted because the plastic from this container is, you know, coming apart because it's, it's in full sun. And another thing that we can see from this little guy is that normally people tend to wire <clears throat> And stick the wire into the soil and then you know proceed to wire and and uh, you know twist the wire and make the movement uh, but with this one what I did was uh, I used one of the drainage holes to anchor the wire and then I proceeded to you know twist it and bend it and whatnot and so we can see that this uh, for me at least is, is it's a better way it's a safer way to wire especially with delicate trees in my area, delicate trees, uh, you know, like conifers, because uh, I live near the tropics and conifers here are, are not in their natural environment. So you got to give them as many chances at survival as you can. And so what happens if you stick the wire in the soil is that um, when you're bending, when you're bending and bending and bending and moving the tree, um, the wire could actually move in the soil as well and it could you know sweep away any of the brittle new roots that you have and so uh, it'd be a shame right? it'd be a shame that you waited for the tree to be vigorous to wire it properly and then because uh, the tree is moving you can anchor it in a in a proper ceramic pot because you can't do that and you're still in a growing container um, you take away some of the roots and the, the tree starts to die pretty much yeah so uh that's pretty much it for this video you guys um i hope you liked it i'm gonna just take the camera and show you a little bit of what we got here like i said nice 
growth from this little pine. This is a Pinus sembroidus. I forgot to mention the species at the start of the video, but this is a Pinus sembroidus, a Mexican pinion pine. It's looking quite, quite nice. And this is, of course, you recognize it from the little pendulum shape, little branches and its glaucous color. This is a Cedrus diodar or a Cedrus uh, diodara, scientific name. Yeah. All the little branches are in place. Um, you've seen it before. So yeah, I think uh, we can expect good things from this little guy in the future. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you're very well. I hope you're having a nice, um, a nice week, a nice month. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. And um, you can drop any comments, questions, or whatever down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.